Fantasy Gacha OC Challenge Like most OC challenges, you are free to choose the gender and skin tone yourself. If you have less than 10 cuddly toys, then your OC will be a human. If you have 10 to 20 cuddly toys, then their species will be based off of your favorite animal. If you have more than 20 cuddly toys, you can make up an entirely new species. Getting inspired is fine too though. Eye shape can be whatever you want. The eye color has to begin with the same letter as your first name. For example, if your name is Patricia, then add pink eyes. If the first letter of your name does not match with any color, then you can be more specific. Like, sky blue or dreamy truffle if you like. If you are a male or demi boy add long hair. If you are a female or demi girl add short hair. If you are anything else, add medium length hair. Close your eyes turn your head around a bit. Then open your eyes. Whatever color you see first has to be the color of the hair. Now why don't we decide the hobby, occupation of your OC. The occupation or hobby should be the same as the one your best friend hates doing the most. If your friend hates magic then your OC could be a mage. The clothing will be based off of the occupation or hobby you gave your OC. If you made your OC a knight then some armor might be the obvious choice, but feel free to get creative with this one too. As for color, I will leave that up to you. Though I recommend something that goes well with the rest of the colors. Now we are done. Stuffed Animal OC Challenge The type of animal is based off of your eye color, so, if you have brown eyes, then your stuffed animal will be a brown animal such as a bear, and I don't think I made this clear, but that also means the stuffed animal OC would be brown. If you have an unnatural eye color, such as purple or red, then you can pick the species of your stuffed animal OC in the color. If you can think of any animals that match with the color of your eyes, then don't worry, that's why Google exists. The type of eyes your stuffed animal has is based off of your favorite stuffed animal. So, if your favorite stuffed animal OC has button eyes, Give your OC stuffed animal button eyes, too. The color of their eyes is the color of your favorite shirt, hoodie, or any article of clothing that you wear constantly. For this part, I am not trying to make fun of anyone with the following part of the OC challenge. If you know somebody who has broken a leg bone or an arm bone, then your stuffed animal will not have that limb. For example say someone you knew broke their arm, then your stuffed animal won't have an arm. And for gacha life, Use imagination, because I genuinely don't know what to do with gacha life. If you talk to your stuffed animals, then your stuffed animal OC will have a sort of dirty but well-loved feel to it. If you are normal enough to the point where you do not talk to your stuffed animals for moral support, because nobody around you will listen to you or literally any other reason to talk to an anime objects, then your stuffed animal OC will have a cleaner but on display look to it. If you only talk to stuffed animals when you feel upset, then you can choose if they're dirty, clean, on display or well played with and loved. The outfit, not the gender, is based on your hobby. If your favorite hobby is something like drawing, give the OC a painter outfit. If you like writing, give them an author outfit, and on and on. If you have a big friend group, then your stuffed animal OC will have fluffy or curly hair. If you have a small friend group, 3 to 4 people including you, then your stuffed animal OC will have long and straight hair. If you're a loner and sadly have no friends, then on the plus side, you can give any hair you'd like. If you prefer pajamas to bed, your stuffed animal OC will have no to little emotion. If you prefer literally any other article of clothing while you sleep, your stuffed animal OC will have a lot of emotion. And the rest is up to you. Mostly because this is getting kinda long and I've been typing for half an hour, but also there's not much left to do other than accessories. So good luck and have fun. So I'll be showing you a mythic creature OC challenge today. Since OC challenges seem fun to make, and I can't really think of video ideas. We'll start with skin tone, gender, and height, which can be anything you want. 
Next choose a number 1 through 3. I used a random number selector and got 1. 1 is short hair, 2 is long hair, 3 is medium hair. You choose the style. Now hair color. Use the first letter of your YouTube name to choose a color with the same first letter. It can be specific like the color coffee. Now species. Pause the video if you need to. Now eye color. It can be any style but has to be the color you first see when you look up from your device. I got white. Now choose one or two. One is clothes relating to their species and two is normal clothes. I used a number generator and got two. Now choose one or two again. One is a positive personality and two is a negative personality. I forgot eyebrow. Elf OC Challenge if you are a girl use long ears, if you're a boy use short ears. If you identify yourself as anything else, you can choose whatever you want. If you have long hair use an ehog of your choosing, if you have short hair, use a face accessory. If you are the youngest child use grey eyes, if you're the middle child add green eyes and if you're the oldest or only child, use brown eyes. If you have black hair use white skin, if you have brown hair use red skin and if you have any color hair, use any colored skin. Now show your finished OC. OC challenge. The gender, pronouns, age and height is your choice. Skin color is unnatural if you wear glasses and natural if you don't. If you are a night owl make your character have an object head. For example, a TV head, teapot head, flower head, telephone head and more. If you are an early bird give them a normal head. If you are an introvert give your character a dull color scheme. If you are an extrovert give them a neon color scheme. If you are an ambivert give them a pastel color scheme. If you are all, both or neither, do a mixed color scheme. If you live in Asia give your character extra limbs or eyes. If you live in America give your character wings. If you live in Europe, give your character a tail. If you live anywhere else, give your character a cape of choice. Welcome to the Little Nightmares OC Challenge. Age and gender is your choice. First off, if you are 10 or younger your OC is a gnome, but like a special gnome because there are going to be accessories. If you are 11 to 14 your OC is a kid. If you are 15 or older your OC is a monster. If your OC is a gnome then these are the skin colors. If your OC is a kid or monster then use these skin colors. Hair color is determined by your real life hair color. Unless your OC is a gnome then they don't have hair. If you have blonde hair in real life then your OC will have dark brown hair. If you have black hair in real life then your OC will have white hair. If you have brown hair in real life then your OC will have blonde hair. If you have any other color or dyed hair then your OC will have an unnatural hair color. Next, is hairstyles. If you have short hair then do shoulder length hair with the eyes not covered. If you have shoulder length hair then do long hair with the eyes slightly covered. If you have long hair then do short hair with the eyes completely covered. Now to do eyes. If you are a boy in real life then do any shade of yellow, green or blue. If you are a girl in real life then do any shade of red, purple or black. If you specify as anything else do any shade of orange, pink or brown. Next is clothes. If you have a cat then do a kind of softy theme. If you have a dog then do a kind of survivor theme. If you have a bird then do a very worn out theme. If you have any other pet then you can choose. If you have none or multiple of these then mix the themes. Now we do accessories. Choose a number between 1 and 4. Please don't skip ahead and cheat lol. 
If you chose one then make your arc have piercings. If you chose two then make your arc have scars. If you chose three then make your arc have a necklace. If you chose four then you add blood on the face. Finally, we do weapons. If you are the youngest sibling then give them an axe. If you are the middle sibling then give them a hammer. If you are the oldest sibling or only child then choose. The rest is up to you. If you want to participate and show others then use this hashtag. Also sorry if it was too easy lol.